my videos. Part two of the Clubman tailpipe. I've been a little naughty and I've uh, done a little bit of work on it uh, when I had a few minutes around and uh, I made a sleeve. So what I've done is a sleeve that's pressed in to my tailpipe so we can then clamp at the back. Got a little clamp to go on there. Little clamp, little slot in my pipe when I get around to doing it. So that'll be a little clamp and a bolt through it so we can clamp the pipe firmly on the back of the exhaust. So, so far, we've got the back end pretty well polished up. That goes into our carbon with a load of packing and stuff. It's a nice tight fit, almost a press on fit. It'll go on with some sealant and, it's, and I'm going to only fit one rivet at the back because this has got so much shoulder on it, it's not going to need any rivets in it. Once it's pushed on with the adhesive, it's never going to move. This way on my own to let you know my words and my thoughts. Well, uh, I've just finished watching Shed Tune again. Oh, Russ and Dom having a go again, as usual. Doing a new baffle. Dom doing all the work, and Russ sitting at the back eating Jaffa cakes all day. Typical. is involved in it. Uh, no wonder there's a rubbish. <laughs> you know, it's probably spent 10 minutes knocking them out. It spent me like, oh, I don't know, about five hours to build this one in total. Uh, yeah, so now, and it's not even finished. Now, we've got the end little bit done. Mmm, ooh. The little, little belt, little trumpet on it, so it goes, changes the sound. Working over time 
almost finished item with the packing in no rivets it's just epoxied together and a good tight fit with plenty of stub into the uh, so it, it, the stub of the uh, what's holding it fits right into the fiber into the carbon fiber so it's got loads of support it doesn't need anything it's solid you can't do it anything with it one piece Okay, this is my trusted little steed. It's originally a DL125, Italian one. Um, and I'm running an SIP Clubman with this little tailpipe on, which I bought a while ago, which fell apart about 20 times. In fact, it didn't even make it the first 60 kilometers back home with before it started self-destructing. So uh, yeah, I've had to put a bracket on it to reinforce it. I've riveted it no end of times, and it is pants. So it's getting replaced with this one. So I'm gonna have to cut my tailpipe down a bit shorter, and I'm gonna have, probably have to take some of the casing away as well. Because I definitely want to get this in there and get that sound right. So I'm willing to sacrifice the little peg where the uh, where the stand goes for the um, for the back wheel. Don't need it. I will just take some of that away and then we'll fit this in. So this is going to be way too long now and I can see some a hot spot here just off to this bend so that means we're getting some that's creating heat that means we've got too much back pressure there this is restricting the engine so this SIP exhaust has been really good I really rate them really well they fit really nice I've binned my BGM or rather moved it on the BGM, it was a really good exhaust, the BGM, uh, but I think value for money, these SIP cans, they're one of the best at the moment, but until I build mine, which is going to be even better. <laughs> that's coming up in a future video. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like when it's fitted. This is a SIP Clubman. And I put it on par, if not better than the BGM V4. And the price is really respectable. And now, with my new can fitted, let's have a look what it sounds like. actually responds even better it's just crisper on the throttle than what it was before with the other tailpipe on this 
I've got a ride and see what it's like. Yes! <laughs> see you later, guys! Yeah.